Hi everybody. Nice weather day again today. I wanted to do some leg exercises for you today and uh, see if that helps you out. Again, uh, dialysis patients and folks with kidney failure, sometimes we're, we don't have as much energy, we can't move around as much. Um, even sometimes if you're in a wheelchair, um, these sitting exercises could help improve some of the muscle tones and keep up with it, improve the joints and the range of motion. Um, and hopefully make you feel a little bit better with the blood circulation and endorphins running around. So today we're gonna to focus on legs. So here's some simple leg exercises you could do sitting down with any bench, any chair that's sturdy. Avoid using the office chairs with wheels or the back comes back for you so you don't fall, because that could be dangerous. Uh, if it's helpful for you, um, maybe have a friend or family member watch you and help you out as well. So. Um, if you have surgeries or anything, this is also good stuff to do uh, without a whole lot of movement and not very strenuous to help you recoup and get back on your feet. So um, some folks have PD catheter placements where you have pain in the abdominal areas and whatnot. Um, you might want to avoid the leg exercises for now until you, you feel less pain um, and recover a little bit. And also you want to be careful of any exercises around the abdominal area to not create a hernia or affect your PD catheter and excess site. This is where my PD catheter is. So um, these are different exercises. Some people can even do it while they're doing hemodialysis in clinic. Just be careful if you have a fistula that your axis site, uh, you're trying to keep that still so the alarms don't go off and go crazy or accidentally the needles come out. Um, but the leg exercise is something you can do, uh, range of motion exercises, things that you can do. Even the other vlog with the arm exercises, you might be able to do uh, while sitting in the chair if you're using a catheter or um, just sort of avoid that side of the axis. You can use the opposite side a little bit and even just stretch a little bit instead of doing full exercises. So, you know, those things help you uh, pass the time on your dialysis chair. Just be aware of your access and the alarms and things like that. Maybe stop if you feel bad or dizzy. Uh, stop if you get thirsty. Uh, drink a little bit of water before, after, and during the exercise. If you have fluid restrictions, just take a little sips instead of big gulps. So let's get started. So I like to warm up with the legs, and I'm not wearing shoes, but you can see my feet here and we'll do range of motion. What I'm doing is just holding on to the leg and the back of my knee with my arms and my hands, and I just do some twisting motions on my feet. I will go to the right circular mode 10 times, then I'll turn left and do a circular motion 10 times. After I've done that, I will switch legs, carry it again, the back of the knees with my hands and then I will turn right ten times and sometimes it doesn't go as smooth you can tell my my left leg here is not rotating as smoothly because I haven't done this in a while so um, now I'm doing left ten times so the other thing you do with reflexology on the legs and feet is lift it up and then just Go up and down motion without rotating 10 times okay and that gives you flexibility around your ankles and your feet uh, it helps with your walking and running motions if you need to do that or have the energy to do that and then I will do that with my left as well and sometimes if you haven't done it in a while you can hear a little cracks and that's normal so don't worry about that again if you feel bad or dizzy stop rest and then pick it up again. If you can't do motions of 10 rotations or 10 lifts, do five. Start with five at a time, and then try it multiple times during the day if you have the energy. If not, just work your way up a little bit more each day. The next day do five, and then six, and then seven, and 10, work your way up. When 10 becomes very easy for you, go up to 15 and 20, whatever works for you. Okay, again, you don't need weights to do any of this. So the next exercise I wanna do is leg lifts. So I wanna sit in the chair where it's stable, 
and I want to hold on to the sides of the chair so that I get a little bit more extra balance. So I will start with the right leg, kick it up straight, and you'll notice what I do is I try to hold it when it's straight up a little bit because you're building the strength and having your muscles work a little bit by holding it still. So do this 10 times. And I'm cheating, I'm doing a little bit less than 10 because the time of the video, I'll do the left 10 times. And again, if you could only do five, do five, okay? Um, if you can't hold it up as long, you could pull, put your hands underneath your leg as long as you're still sitting stable and not being wobbly and falling off the chair, okay? The more advanced folks, you could do both legs at a time and get, when you do both legs, definitely hold on to the chair of the sides because it's a little bit harder until you really have a good balance. Four, five. So um, that one I definitely have not done a whole lot in a while. So you see that I have some work to do as well, just like you. Um, hopefully those leg exercises help. Um, there's another one. Just sit here and just open and close your knees. Okay. Some range of motion along the uh, muscular areas here on the top and it works your hip and pelvis joints. Okay, and then you could alternate, do both at the same time. Now, when you do both at the same time like this, it does affect your lower abdominal area, so be careful, don't overdo it. Um, you could strain and hurt your PD catheter in the exercise. You might develop a hernia if you overdo it. So be very careful about that. Um, Another exercise I like to do is the waist. So pull my arms up, turn to the right, turn to the left, pause, turn to the right, pause, center, left, center, right, center, left, center, okay? And if you get more energy to where you can stand up and do this um, standing, that's good. Enjoy the weather outside, get some fresh air while you're doing this, because as you're exercising, you're taking deeper breaths. The deeper breath helps your circulation, help bring oxygen throughout your body and blood cells. If you get too tired, just stop, take some deep breaths. It'll help relax you a little bit. It helps give your muscles a break. Don't do everything all at the same time. Alternate between exercises. If you want to combine some upper body with some lower body, you can watch the other video with the upper body and arm exercises and uh, go from there. So those are some of the tips I have. If you have the energy to go running, jogging, biking, walking, um, feel free to do that as well. Those are usually no issues for dialysis patients as long as you have the energy. Um, and same with PD. Um, one of my first PD videos before I went on PD the first time over five and a half years ago is seeing a guy that was actually a triathlete doing PD and that made me feel more comfortable wanting to do PD um, and remaining active. So hopefully these tips help you, the exercises help you. If you have any questions, if you have any other content suggestions, or if you'd like to see more of anything, go ahead and comment down below. If you have any other tips, comment below as well. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell to get notifications on new vlogs that come out. Exercise and staying healthy along with your treatments help you do more of the things that you love with the folks that you love. So thanks for joining me today. And again, have a great one.